Welcome back to the course. So up until now, we have had some basics of CSS and using that knowledge, we are going to create a small project in this video. We are going to create a basic layout using HTML and CSS. So this is how our layout will look. It will have four sections. The first one would be the header uh, in the red background. Uh, I'm sorry, in the red border. The next one would be a left sided menu with the green border. Then there would be a content division which is uh, displayed in blue border and finally one footer okay so this is what we are going to create in this video so let's start so we are back to sublime text let's create a new file and save it as basic layout dot html let's save it let's quickly add the HTML tag and the head tag, the title tag, which will say basic layout. Um, we'll add a body tag, and over here we will do our stuff. But before that, uh, let's do one more thing. Let's add the CSS file because we are going to use it. So CSS slash style dot CSS. Okay, so now we are ready. So as you can see on the project, we have got four different sections. So we are going to create four different sections by using our HTML div tags and then using CSS, we will style them or position them according to our needs. Okay, so let's first create the outermost div, the div which will contain all the other four divs okay so the first div is like this and we are going to give it an id of container again you can keep it anything but it's preferable if you uh, name the outermost div as container inside this we are going to have four more divs the first one would be header div the second one would be menu div the third one would be content div and finally the last one would be footer div let's quickly add a text which will say header menu this will say content and finally this will say footer let's save it let's uh, let's check it out in sublime text so this is our project folder and this is the file let's double click and this is how it looks currently uh, but before that what we are going to do is we are opening our style.css file and we are removing all of the content we are saving it reload so this is how our page looks like at this point of time so let's style the page so what I'm going to do is first of all in the header ID I'm going to add a border of two pixels of red color and solid gradient save reload and as you can see this is how it looks similarly I'll do it for the menu ID I'll give it a border of two pixels green and solid save reload so our second div is there third one is the content the content would be border two pixels blue solid and finally we'll add 
the footer id with a border of border of 2 pixels solid and a color of say brown rather let's give it some other color red green blue and purple let's save it and reload so this is how it looks currently now we have to align it like this so now in the menu id we are going to provide a float of left and a width of 30 percent and a height of 400 pixels let's save this and reload so if you can see now the green border looks like this what we can do is we can add two more things first instead of 30% width let's give it a 20% width by the way this width should be given in terms of percentage and not in terms of pixel because if you'll give it in terms of pixel then if someone will open it <coughs> on their mobile device or their tablets it will occupy say if you have given it a 400 pixel or 500 pixel it will always occupy 500 pixels irrespective of the screen size okay so it's always recommended that you give the width in a uh, relative measurement that is percentage so it will always occupy 20 percent of the screen irrespective of what the screen size is but you can give the height in pixels okay uh, and let's add one margin top of 30 pixels let's add this much save cancel reload yeah now as you can see it looks beautiful now let's move on to the content id in the content id 2 we are going to provide a float of left now you must be wondering why are we providing a float of left if we have already provided a float of left to this one see always remember this whenever you are creating a layout in css it's more like placing books on a shelf you start putting your first book on the left then the second to the left then the third to the left up until you fill the whole row okay similarly over here you will do the same you will first your play first div on the left side then your second div on the left side and once the space is filled from by 100 percent you come down <coughs> in the second row so this is how you add divs on a web page okay in this i'm going to give a width of 80 percent and a height of 600 pixels and a margin top of 30 pixels let's see what happens save reload okay now what happened is this content came down and not over here the reason is this 20 percent and this 20 percent is already 100 percent and it has automatically taken some default margin which is this so similarly there will be something on this side like this so we haven't considered that so instead what we can do is we can give it an id uh, uh, width of 77 percent to account for that default margin on both left and right side see now we have the content over here great now even for the footer let's give it a float of left and a width of 100 percent and a height of 100 pixels let's save it yeah so as you can see the footer is down here you can also give it a margin top if you want margin top of um, 20 pixels in fact what we can do is we can reduce the height of content to 550 pixels because the content is getting stretched and we are getting a scroll bar okay so still not on the screen so instead let's give it 450 pixels save yeah now it comes on the screen that is fine okay so more or less our content is uh, our uh, layout is kind of ready so 
what can we do is uh, we need a uh, spacing between these two divs like over here so what we can do is either we can give a margin left to content or we can give a margin right to our menu let's give a margin left of 10 pixels to the content div save yeah great in fact let's make it 20 percent or 20 pixels save yeah this is nice so now the only thing that is left is to write the titles <coughs> in the center of the div tag like over here so for that what we are going to do is we are going to create a class which will be text center and inside over here we will write text align center and now we'll copy this class save the file and we'll add this class to every div like this let's save it reload and yes it's done so this is how you're going to create a basic layout using CSS.